Pucker Pies. Don't compromise. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the show that gives ordinary people an extraordinary opportunity, the chance to become a millionaire in less than 60 minutes. Already partway there is Nicole Adams from Harold Wood in Essex. She returns from last time. Nicole is an advertising art director working predominantly for major charities. Uh, she met her partner Ben 15 years ago on an escalator on the London Underground. <laughs> <laughs> She's brought her good friend Karen along again for moral support tonight. Uh, Nicole says she'd like to win enough to help with the MA in illustration that she's hoping to do, and she'd like to go on more wildlife safaris. I have to say, last time you were here, <laughs> you caused absolute chaos. I'm sorry. You did very well. <laughs> you got £10,000. <laughs> I was but really you were, excited. You were certainly uh, hyper, I think is the word. Yeah, definitely. Are you calmer? I am a little bit calmer, you'll be pleased to know. Yes. But it could all go downhill. Yes, it probably will, yes. <laughs> yes, it almost certainly will. Right, so listen, what's your plan tonight? Um, You've got £10,000 at the moment. You've answer one the questions now. correctly. Answer the question correctly is good. <laughs> um, how far would you like, ideally, to go? To I'd love to get to 50. I'd love it. That would be my goal. If I got to that, I'd be like, Whoa, brilliant. <laughs> so you want to get to £50,000, which is only two away, and you've got to phone a friend? Yeah. OK, fingers crossed. Oh, right, when the klaxon sounded at the end of the last show, Nicole had already earned £10,000 and she can still phone a friend. She has that one remaining lifeline. So let's see if we can boost her earnings a bit further yet. Lots of luck, Nicole. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, this is the serious bit you've been dreading. You have £10,000 at this moment. You can obviously walk away. You can phone a friend and still walk away. If you give me a wrong answer to the next question, you would lose £9,000. But you could double it, 20000 and you're two away from 50000 This is question number six of a possible 12. Which Walt Disney film features the song The Beautiful Briny? Bedknobs and Broomsticks, Fantasia, The Jungle Book, Song of the South. Oh, oh, oh. I know the song, I know it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and the name of the film no, is... What is... Not the Jungle Book. It's not Fantasia. Song of the South. Oh, my goodness. I, my, my heart is saying bedknobs and broomsticks. Fantasia, I'm thinking... I went to see that with my best friend and we were so disappointed. It was so boring. It was rubbish. Um, <laughs> oh, good. Walt will we'll be pleased. <laughs> so, Jungle you don't Book. think it's that? Jungle Book. I know all the songs for that and there's no C in that. It's a bit cockney, isn't it? The beautiful bridey C. And Song of the South. Corn is as high as an elephant's eye and all that. <sighs> Bedknobs and Broomsticks. Have you seen Bedknobs and Broomsticks? I have seen it when I was off sick from school once. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, is this your final answer? My final answer. You know you can't change it. I know. Once it's gone. I know. And you certainly wasn't Song of the South, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you just won 20 oh! pounds! <laughs> Your meme. <laughs> it's what I do every week. <laughs> First the medicine, then the sweet. Okay? Your pleasure. There must be a little pain. I am a little pain. <laughs> right. Now listen, serious business here, mate. Yeah. You have 20 grand. Oh. At this moment, you can walk away 20,000 pounds better off. Question number seven is for 50,000 pounds. You have a phone a friend. Yeah. You would lose 19,000 of your 20 if you gave me a wrong answer. Please don't do that. Have a look at question number seven. This is the £50,000 milestone. Here it comes. 
Which region of the Mediterranean separates Italy and Croatia? Aegean Sea, Ionian Sea, Tyrrhenian Sea, Adriatic Sea. This is tricky. I was dreading a geography question. Now, I know this sounds mental, but last night I watched Mind on the Orient Express. <laughs> and yes. in it, they referred to Venice as the Pearl of the Adriatic. So that's making me think Adriatic. A G and C makes me think Greece. Ionian C, that makes me think Scotland. That one, C, can't even say it. Don't even know what that is. Tyrrhenian. Tyrrhenian. <laughs> But just because you can't say it doesn't mean it may not it? be it. Oh gosh. Italy and Croatia. I'm gonna phone a friend. Now who do you know who would know? <laughs> I'm gonna ring Mark. Who's he? He's my boss. Good grief. Okay, well phone Mark, tell him a question, four possible answers. Do you want me to tell him it's worth fifty thousand pounds? Yes, please. Why? Well, it's a bit like small change to him. <laughs> but it's big bucks to me and he knows he's going to get it. If he doesn't get it. <laughs> OK. All right, darling, we'll Mark. Hello? Mark? Yes. Hello, Chris Tarrant, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Well, thank you for caring, Mark. I'm fine. Unfortunately, I'm here with one of your staff. I know. I'm very worried about losing her. I hope she's it, not doing too well. It's not well. No, she's doing well, but it's not easy. I have to, you, are, you deserve the George Medal. <laughs> Thank you very much. How many years have you had to have Nicole working with you? I don't know. It's about four or five, but it Good seems grief. like about 20. Yeah. I feel like that. I've only done one show. Um, <laughs> now, she's doing OK, actually. This is serious business, and you'll Good. probably like to hear this. Uh, she's stuck on one particular question, and it's worth £50,000. 50G, OK. Um, so, serious question. Next voice is Nicole's. She will tell you the question and four possible answers. One of them is worth £50,000. Okay. Right, OK, Nicole, lots of luck, my darling. 30 seconds, your time starts now. Thank you. Which region of the Mediterranean separates Italy and Croatia? Is it the Aegean Sea, the Ionian Sea, the Tyrrhenian Sea or the Adriatic Sea? Um, I'm pretty sure it's the Adriatic. Oh, definite, do you reckon? Um, I'm, I'm 95%. Do you know um, where the Tyrrhenian Sea is? Um, no, the, 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 I know there were some shark attacks in the Adriatic Sea, and that's on, on, on that part. That's why I think that. I, I'm not 100%, but I'm... You just cut your boss off. <laughs> <laughs> you got 20 grand, you lose 19 if you're wrong, it's worth 50. I'm going to go for it. And your bosses say so? Yeah. I'm never going to sit in this chair again, ever in my whole life. It's taken me years to get here, and I think I've been mad. Mad, mad, mad. <laughs> trying to picture it in my mind. Italy. Croatia's up there, on the right, I think, of Italy, and then underneath, the Adriatic. I'm going to say the Adriatic. Final answer. Final answer. He had £20,000. We'll take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes for the next part of tonight. Who wants to be a millionaire? Don't go away. Parker Pies. Don't compromise. Welcome back to the second part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Just before the break, we left Nicole Adams on a bit of a cliffhanger. Well, a lot of a cliffhanger, actually, because she's either just won £50,000 or just lost 19000 She got this question, which region of the Mediterranean separates Italy and Croatia? Aegean, Ionian, Tyrrhenian or Adriatic? 
She rang a boss who sort of thought it was probably Adriatic and went for it. Watch my lips. You've just won <laughs> 50,000. <laughs> Quite pleased then. <laughs> oh, you don't know. <laughs> Absolutely right. Uh, the Ionian, by the way, which you thought is in Scotland, is between Greece and Italy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're close. Uh, Tyrrhenia is the one between Italy and Sicily and Sardinia. And you don't care. Now look, this is what you've done. Take this home to Harold's Wood. £50,000. <laughs> you cannot lose that. Whatever happens, That's brilliant. you will go home with at least that amount of money. <sighs> Can't believe it. OK, uh, quickly now it's time for one of you to earn £1,000 from your favourite armchair with our viewers' competition. If you haven't got a favourite armchair, it sounds like you could do with £1,000. Here's tonight's question. What is the name of the musical premiered in 2002 based on the songs of the rock band Queen? A, We Will Rock You. B, Bohemian Rhapsody. C, Somebody to Love. Or D, Under Pressure. All you have to do is text GAME, G-A-M-E, and your answer A, B, C or D to 84644. Or alternatively, you can give us a call, 09012 uh, Sorry, kids, as always, you must be 16 or over. I'm afraid that's the law, and you have until the end of the show. To lodge your answer for full terms and conditions, go to www.itv.com slash millionaire. I'm sorry I had to break in to do that, but actually, it's probably good to give you a, really a little needs... moment of calm. To compose myself, I can't believe it. You've got 50 grand. I can't. It's unreal. You have no lifelines, but question number eight is one of those you might as well go for it anyway. You might as well have a go at this question if you haven't got a clue, because it's worth £75,000. You're guaranteed that 50. Have a look at it. This is question number eight of a possible 12. Here it comes. What name is given to the type of dome on the Taj Mahal? Right. Grape dome. Onion dome. Good dome. Pea dome. Now, you have 50 grand, that is for yeah. 75,000. I don't know why, but I'm thinking onion dome. Just onion dome, that's just coming to my head. <laughs> <laughs> Pea dome? That would be a rubbish dome. Grape <laughs> dome, onion dome, good dome, pea dome. I'm saying onion dome, final answer. Why did you say that? No. Where did that come from? It just came. Give me that. Oh, no. I can't tear this up. You know, uh, that. You know, I, know. I can't tear this up, don't you? So what am I going to do then, Nicole? <laughs> you're never going to give me a cheque for 75. I think you'll find out. Yeah. You just won 75,000 pounds. <laughs> There's a hint of hysteria going on. You now have £75,000. Do you understand this? You I now really have do. Now, this 75 is I'm not just going to go silly. But you could double your money here. You'd only drop 25 and you could double your money. All right, have a look. Question number nine is for £150,000. Good here, isn't it? <laughs> question number nine is for £150,000. Have a look at the question. You have no lifelines, but tell me what you want to do. Which writer had children called Susanna, Judith and Hamnet? William Shakespeare, Geoffrey Chaucer, Charles Dickens, Thomas Hardy. <laughs> well, this is an easy one. I don't know this. I really don't. I'm taking the money and I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out the door to Harold Wood. I really haven't got any idea. No, nothing. Nothing's coming to me in the slightest. Oh, go on, have a word no, with him. Go on. No, I'm not going to. No, can't I'm not gonna, make I me. would not begin <laughs> to push you towards this. Oh, no way. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. I'm finding out. Don't care, no, I don't. I'm just like, <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Happy, happy? I am beyond happy. <laughs> I'm beyond <That's> fantastic. it. Fantastic. <laughs> Right, give her a big hand. I've absolutely loved it. Oh. She goes away with £75,000. <laughs> Just before you go, and I know you couldn't get no. less, but which one would you have gone for? Oh, blimey. Stab in the dark, Thomas Hardy. Oh, if only you said Thomas Hardy! <laughs> <laughs> You'd have lost um, yeah. 25 grand.
<laughs> the right answer is William Shakespeare. Didn't have a clue. I'm uh, so charmed. Could have care less. Off she goes with £75,000. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy. £75,000. <laughs> oh, what a woman. £75,000. Right, once again, we've got ten people who were selected during our recent nationwide auditions. They all convinced us they want to be a millionaire. Will one of them achieve their dream tonight? Let's meet them. They are... Matt Burns from Devon. Barbara Woodham from Mid Glamorgan. James O'Keefe from Nottinghamshire. Mike Rangecroft from Surrey. Jackie Morgan from South to Morgan. Peter Elson from Staffordshire. Gary Bolton from Northamptonshire. Karen Hood from Cheshire. Lindsay Elliott from Leicestershire. And Kingsley Taylor from Carmarthenshire. Right, in order for one of them to earn the right to step into our arena of dreams, we've got one question. It has four answers, but only one correct order. Fastest finger first to find out who can arrive at that correct order in the shortest possible time. No distraction, please, from the audience at this moment. They need to concentrate. Here comes that question. Put these words in order to give the title and name of a famous opera singer. Tay, Dame, Kiri, Kanawa. One of them's just cracked under pressure already. Um, right, let's see. This is the right order. Then we'll see uh, how many got it right and who got it fastest. Uh, fairly straightforward. Dane. Kiri. Tay. Kanawa. So that's the right order. Now, how many got it right out of ten? I'm pretty sure at least one didn't. These got it right. Not many of them at all. Mike Rangecroft fastest in 1.98 seconds. Michael, it's you! <laughs> So this is Mike Rangecroft from Dorking in Surrey. Mike's the general manager for a company who deal with noise nuisance. Basically, if there's a noisy party, Mike and his crack squad step in to get the volume turned down before the police are called. Uh, up in the audience is George, his partner, is here to give him support tonight. Mike is a mad keen golfer and a really big win on the show would mean he could buy a house in Spain near the very best golf courses. That way he says he could turn his golfer's town into a permatan. He'd also spend a few quid on a drastic cure for his fear of heights, a skydive. <laughs> right, here we go, 12 questions. 12 correct answers, I write to check out for a million pounds, OK? Three lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend, and ask the audience. That's the formula, Mike. Lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, question one is for £500. Here it comes. What is the standard shape of the piece of paper displayed on the windscreen of a car to show it is taxed? Circular, triangular, square, hexagonal. Circular, Chris. Why were you looking? <laughs> I'm still really, really nervous, so I'm just checking I'm not going mad. OK. Final answer. Circular. It's the right answer. That's what you wrote. This looks like you've got £500. <laughs> right, Mike, question number two. We guarantee you £1,000 is the last point at which you could go home with nothing. I'm sure you won't. You have all three lifelines if you need them. Have a look at this question number two of a possible 12. Which of these is a judge on the TV talent show American Idol? Nicky Chapman, Neil Fox, Simon Cowell, Pete Waterman. I'm fairly sure it's Simon Cowell. Final answer? Yes. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> I'm fascinated by what you do for a living. Have you come in to be on the show or just complain about the noise? <laughs> I've come in to get away from the general public. Oh, sadly. <laughs> sadly that we let some in. What, um, what do you actually do? I still don't quite understand what you do. 
We simply, if there's a noisy party, for example, or a car alarm, but noisy party, perhaps more interestingly, go up, knock on the door, it's three o'clock in the morning, turn your music down. Do you get <laughs> beaten up a lot? <laughs> not a lot, not as much as I used to. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't people very resistant to this? People are never really pleased to see us. No, they you're either, be, would they? No, we well, either called us out in the first place, so you're a bit irritated, or I'm coming to stop you having a party of some sort, your wife's anniversary, and you're really not pleased to see us. So, no, no so, we're not I mean, the most popular. It's a rubbish I mean, job, do you, isn't it? do you have to um, <laughs> sort of take big burly minders with you? George. George. Big burly minders George. Big burly George. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> OK. Right, now, listen, you have £1,000. Have a look at question number three. This is for £2,000. Which of these phrases is Latin for cast list? Magnum opus. Dramatis personae. Vox populi. Persona non grata. <laughs> ah, Latin. It's looking forward to a Latin question coming up. <laughs> I've known one for a while. Actually. No, great. You doing at school? No. Nope. <laughs> in fact, I remember saying to my niece just recently because she's studying it. Saying, um, Latin, what's, what's the purpose in Latin? Clearly. Well. Mm. That's come back to haunt me, isn't it? I'm assuming it's not persona non grata. I think that means somebody not welcome, not, um, not liked. <sighs> I might be really simple, but would dramatis persona be something to do with drama? Oh, I don't know, you see, that might be cast list. Vox Populi, I, I haven't got a clue. I really haven't. And I'm not sure it's something the audience, the audience would know. They might know things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask the audience then, Chris. OK. <laughs> Good luck. Right, the audience. Here we go. This is the question. Which of these phrases is Latin for cast list? A, magnum opus. B, dramatis personae. C, vox populi. D, persona non grata. It's worth £2,000 to Mike. A, B, C or D, Latin for cast list. All vote now. <laughs> I knew it was that one all along. You... <laughs> 82%. It's quite high. I would, I would never have guessed that one. Um, I'm going to go with the audience, and I'm going to go with... I can't even say it. Dramatis Persona. B. B. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. So Mike's on £2,000, he still has a phone a friend, he's still got a 50-50. At this moment, he is just nine right answers away from £1 million. And the next question will be five grand. We'll take a break, don't go away. I don't care, Vin. Don't compromise. Welcome back to the third part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Don't forget, a very welcome £1,000 can still be yours if you know the answer to tonight's viewer's question. Quick reminder, what is the name of the musical premiered in 2002 based on the songs of the rock band Queen? A, We Will Rock You. B, Bohemian Rhapsody. C, Somebody to Love. D, Under Pressure, Text Game. And your answer, please, A, B, C or D to 84644. Or phone us on 09012 And as always, you've got till just about the end of the show to get your answer in. Right. Back to serious business then with Mike Rangecroft. He's on £2,000. He still has two lifelines remaining. Now, how are you getting along, Michael? I'm still really nervous. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't normally get nervous, but... Um... Well, I suppose if you go stomping into people's houses at 3 o'clock in the morning telling them to turn the noise down, you must yeah. be kind of fearless. Well, you can't really appear nervous. I think people can smell fear. <laughs> <laughs> probably can. They can probably smell you right now. <laughs> right, you have £2,000. Uh, question number four is for £5,000. You've still got a 50-50. You can phone a friend. Have a look. Who wrote the 1970s lifestyle book, Superwoman? Jilly Cooper, Shirley Conran, Jermaine Greer, Delia Smith. It's worth £5,000. <coughs> you can phone a friend, you can use 
Again, not the first idea. I'm guessing it's not Delia. She'd probably be... Well, lifestyle... No, I wouldn't have thought it's Delia. Other than that, it could, it could be anyone. Maybe Jermaine Greer. She's a um, renowned uh, champion of ladies' causes, isn't she? Um, Jilly Cooper tends to write novels, so I wouldn't necessarily think it was Jilly. And Shirley Conran haven't got the faintest. Um, I was at home, I'd just go, oh, it's Jermaine Greer. But you're not at home, and it's proper money. Yeah. I think I'll take the 50-50, Chris. OK, computer, take away two random wrong answers, leave Mike the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. <laughs> oh, dear. Shirley Conran or Jermaine Greer, one of those is worth £5,000, one of those would cost you 1000 And he plunged back to £1,000. I haven't got a clue, Chris. Um, I'm going to go Jermaine Greer. <laughs> Final answer? Yes. Get £2,000. You've just lost £1,000. All right. Very famous definitive book in the 70s. Uh, Shirley Conran was the author of Superwoman. Well, but you still got £1,000. Yep. Give, it a, Give it a big hand. He still goes away with a thousand pounds. I'm sorry it wasn't a lot more. Right. Cheers, mate. Mike goes away with a grand. <laughs> so, after about a few minutes' work for one thousand pounds, we still have nine freshly scrubbed contestants about to be put to the test with our next fastest finger first. Uh, nice and quiet, please, in the audience. Here's the next question. Put these words in alphabetical order. 10, 20, 30, 40. Getting hysterical now, remaining nine. Let's see what happens. This is the right order. Um, it's pretty sort of straightforward, really. F O R T Y, 40. Then it's T, 10. Then it's TH. Uh, then it's TW, so that's the right order. 40, 10, 30, 20. Now, out of nine, these got it right. Let's have a look how many. Uh, four. Peter Elson was fastest. Yes, goes Peter. Yes! In 2.83 seconds. That's quick. Good man. Right, you ready for this? Yes. You seem very hyped up. You OK? <laughs> yeah. Right, here we go. Good man. Right, this is Peter Elson, an IT assistant from Eddingale in Staffordshire. Peter made a move from the admin side in the company, where he's been working for the past three years, into the IT department and hasn't looked back. With him this evening is his fiancée, Michelle. Uh, she's here because she's always wanted to be on the telly and because <laughs> her services aren't required as a phone a friend. They have three young kids between the ages of two and five. Peter used to DJ in various bars until their youngest came along. Uh, any winnings on the show will be spent on home improvements, a shopping spree in New York for Michelle, and a Birmingham Football Club season ticket for Peter himself. Nodding happily. <laughs> OK, 12 questions, three brand new lifelines, £1 million. Pounds. That's the formula, Peter, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? OK, you ready for this? Yeah. You focused? Yes. Yeah. OK. Well, yes. Right, question number one is for 500 quid. Here we go. What are traditionally smashed in Greek restaurants? Vases, plates, glasses, fruit bowls. It's plates. It's the right answer, you've got 500 quid. <laughs> OK, Peter, question number two would guarantee you at least £1,000. Have a look. In France, the phrase premier cru indicates the superior standard of what? Cheese, ham, truffle, wine. I, I don't know. I, nothing even sprang to mind. Well, wine kind of did, but that's only because France is in the question. Um, I'd probably say ham, but I don't want to chance it, so I'll ask the audience. Yeah, you would go home with nothing if you get yeah, me wrong. Exactly, yeah, so. OK, use a lifeline, that's what they're for. Right, audience, this is the question. 
It's guaranteed, Peter, £1,000. In France, the phrase premier cru indicates the superior standard of what? Now, A on your keypad is cheese, B is ham, C is truffle, D is wine. A, B, C or D, please, worth £1,000. All vote now. Seventy-nine percent say wine, uh, which is one of your thoughts. Uh, Three percent cheese, thirteen percent ham, five percent truffle. That's quite substantial. Um, um, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I'll, I'll say final answer is wine. You know, if they're all wrong, you've gone home with nothing. I think that's. Uh, I think that's the answer. Seventy-nine. It is the answer. You got a thousand pounds. <laughs> Thank you. They do that. Too. <laughs> It's okay, it's good. If you used to life to understand that, it's not a problem. It's exactly what they're for. Um, I was just working out the sort of the breakdown between you two, really. Um, if you win lots of money, Michelle up there wants to go on a shopping spree to New York, mm -hmm. and you get a Birmingham it. City season ticket. She deserves it. She's uh, with all the children and everything constantly for five years. Uh, We've got three little ones, haven't you? Three young ones. Yeah, the youngest is uh, two months, so, yeah. OK, well, listen, whatever happens, you go home to the kids uh, with £1,000. And awesome. Michelle's been on the telly, so that's sorted. <laughs> um, you are ten away from a million, and you still have two lifelines. You've got a 50-50, you've got a phone mm. a friend. Have a look at question number three. This is for £2,000. Which of these people are native to the Southern Hemisphere? Magyars, Laps, Cherokees, Zulus. Oh. That's a horrible question. It's not Cherokees, I don't think, because they're American, North American. Zulus are African. I've never even heard of A or B. I'm going to have to phone a friend. OK. Um, mm -hmm. Who'd know? Hopefully my father. Daddy? Where's Daddy? Staffordshire? He is. He's in Hansacre in Staffordshire. Uh, your whole family's up in Staffordshire, actually, aren't you? They are indeed, every yeah. single one of them. OK. What's he got? Oh, I can't call him Dad. What's he called? He's called Peter as well. All oh, right. Isn't that confusing in your house? Very much so. He's Peter, I'm Peter. Right. OK. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Hello? Peter? Yeah? Chris Darren, good evening. Oh, good, e good evening. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Um, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Well, now, listen, your son's here and he's OK, he's in the chair. Is he? Yes, he is. That's why I'm phoning you. That's how it works. Phone a friend. Oh, oh yeah, right on. <laughs> OK, right. right yeah, now, how's he doing? serious business then. He's stuck on this question. It's worth £2,000 to him. Right. All right, mate. So the next question will be Peter's your son. He will tell right, you the okay. question. There are four possible answers. One of these is worth £2,000. OK. All right, mate. OK, fingers right. crossed. Peter, lots of luck. Your time starts now. Yeah, Dad. Um, Hi, mate. Um, which of these people are native to the Southern Hemisphere? Magyars, Laps, Cherokees or Zulus? Zulus. Desperately sure of that. I know it's Africa, but is that the Southern Hemisphere, yeah? Well, go through this one. Go through them again. Magyars. That's Hungary. Laps. That's, uh, no, that's uh, like Norway in that way. Uh, Cherokees is USA, so... Zulus. Yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be Zulus, mate. Okay. Birmingham, just think of Birmingham's Zulu. Right, on. cheers, Dad. <laughs> has goes, to be, has to mention dad, football he? all the time. He doesn't really do 30 seconds, your dad, does he? No, 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 he could have gone on all night. <laughs> right. Well, it's up to you. He sounded quite positive, but it's up to you. Well, I've got nothing to lose. Um, I'm on a thousand, so... Um, I'll play that uh, D, Zulu's final, final answer. answer. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> OK, have a look. Question number four. You've still got a 50-50. Uh, you've got two grand at this moment. Uh, question number four is for £5,000. You could get rid of two of them. Uh, you may not need to. Have a look. Who was the star of the TV detective series The Rockford Files? Telly Savalas, James Garner, Raymond Burr, Peter Falk. I don't think it's Telly, Telly Savalas. He's Kojak. Um, but I've, I've heard of James Garner, the other two. No. 50-50, um, please. OK, computer take away two random wrong answers. Leave Peter the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Mm -hmm. 
So has that helped? Kind of. I was hope, you know, I was actually hoping that the, those two would be the ones left. But you know, I don't know for certain. I I would say it was James Garner. I came with nothing. Um, I'm going to guess. I'm going to say B, James Garner. Final answer. Final answer. Are you sure it wasn't Telly? No, but <laughs> I'm never going to have another better chance to win £5,000 on TV, so, and I'll take 1000 if I've got it wrong. So. You've just won £5,000 on TV. We played Jim Rockford for oh, years and years and years and years in the Rockford Files. OK, Peter Elson has £5,000. He has no lifelines remaining, but at this moment he's just three away from that magical next milestone of 50000 Don't go away. <laughs> Pucker Pies. Don't compromise. The new Tiguan. Compact 4x4 from Volkswagen. Even the smallest drop of our detergent is now bursting with fragrance. Let's drift away. Ooh, on dreamers day. Ooh, Two times concentrated, surf small and mighty. Shoulders hydrating, smooth and silky, gives you irresistibly soft hair and leaves you up to 100% flake free. For hair you can't get enough of. Now Cosmopolitan readers can't get enough of head and shoulders. After just one week, 81% said their hair felt softer. MotorsToday.co.uk now has thousands more cars to choose from in your area. So whether you're after a 4x4 in Fife, a people carrier in Portsmouth, a little runabout in Leeds, or a convertible in Crawley, get yourself to MotorsToday.co.uk, where we've got the perfect car for you. I'll take that one. MotorsToday.co.uk. More cars, more choice. When a sore throat makes you fade into the background, you need Strepsils. Strepsils not only soothes pain fast, so you can feel like yourself again, but its active ingredients keep on working, working, and working, even after the lozenge has gone. Strepsils, first aid for sore throats. Got to to its positive to negative, latch on to the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In-Between, you got to spread joy up to the maximum. In a topsy-turvy world, it's comforting to know energy prices can be fixed for three years. Another bright little thought from Enpower, Britain's brightest energy company. More is making you feel valued. That's why we now welcome all our new car insurance customers with one month's free insurance in the first year and then two months free insurance in the second year and every year after that unless you claim. And that means lots more happy drivers. More than we do more. One in three smoke alarms doesn't have a working battery. So let's see. Who's going to be trapped in the house while it burns? Your brother? Your mother? You? Maybe you should test yours now. Go on. Pull your finger out. Simpkins, there's money at stake. That was stake. What are you, man? Simpkins! Simpkins! 
Pucker Pies. Don't compromise. Welcome back to the final part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now, if you could find a use for £1 million, what on earth are you waiting for? Give us a call. 09068 444444. Or just text us. Text the word SHOW to 84644. And it really could be you, yes, you, sitting here answering the uh, questions for cash, just like Peter, who's currently on £5,000 here, but he has no lifelines remaining. Right, now, listen, you have five grand, which wouldn't be a bad night's result. Go home with £5,000. I can still buy a season ticket. Michelle exactly. can still go shopping. Is this for Birmingham City? Oh yes. How long yeah. have you um, how long have you been a blues fan? All my life. Really? So, yeah. What have been the great high spots for you? None at all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what have been the lowest of the low spots? Oh, we just get relegated, promoted, relegated again. <laughs> Even when we're bad, we're comical. When we're good, we're good. So you know. You're a proper hardcore fan. Yeah, definitely. Right now you have five thousand uh, pounds. Have a look at question number five. This is for ten grand. Peter, I tell you again, you do not have to play this question. Mm -hmm. Don't be a hero. You would lose four grand if you gave me a wrong answer. Uh, you could go home with £5,000. But you have no lifelines. You might like it. Have a look. This is question number five of a possible 12. Here it comes. The quail belongs to which family of birds? Pheasant. Kingfisher. Parrot. Hummingbird. That's worth £10,000. I'm sure it's a pheasant, but I'm... <laughs> oh, my God. Um, no, I, I just can't risk that. I can't risk going down to 1,000. I think it's pheasant, but I, I'm not going to play it. I'm going to walk. Sure? Yeah, it's 5,000 pounds is a lot of money to me, and um, 1,000 substantially less, so, yeah, I'll take the money. Final, final answer. Final answer. Okay, it's your choice. Give me a big hand. Peter goes away with 5,000 pounds. I will tell you that Michelle up there thinks the answer is hummingbird. 88% <laughs> of the audience think the answer is pheasant. Oh. And the answer is... You know what I'm going to say, don't you? It's pheasant. The answer is pheasant. But I didn't want to chance it, you know. Well, if it wasn't pheasant, I'd never forgive you'd myself. You'd be devastated. So. You've got three young kids, you'd be devastated if you lost four grand. Yeah. Give me a big hand. He gets away with £5,000. Good on, Pete. £5,000, Peter Wilson. OK, here we go again. Just eight contestants left. Stand by with those fastest finger first keypads. Nice and quiet, please, again in the audience. Here comes their next question. Starting in North America and working east, put these expanses of water in the order of their locations. So think about it. North Sea, Caspian Sea, Bay of Bengal, Hudson Bay. Okay, let's have a look. This is the right order. Eight contestants from Maine. We'll find out how many got it right in a minute. This is the right order. Uh, started from North America, fairly obviously Hudson Bay in Canada, at the top of Canada. Then you're coming across here to the North Sea in Northern Europe. Uh, then the Caspian, which is basically in Asia, and then right across Bay of Bengal, part of the Indian Ocean. So that's the right order, going from America, North America, East. Right, how many got it right out of eight? These got it right. Let's have a look. Uh, three, who was fastest? Matt Barnes in 5.03 seconds. <laughs> Matt, it's you. And you thought you were running out of time, didn't you? I think I you right? Yeah, I did so now, actually. <laughs> Not like you're going to fade away. <laughs> right, there's a million quid out there. Let's go win it. Come on. <laughs> Right, now we have Matt Barnes from Torrington in Devon. Matt was a primary school teacher for six years, specialising in English, and he's now been a head teacher for three years. Matt and Amy, his wife of four years, have a two-year-old toddler called Amelia and a baby boy called Arthur, who's just six weeks old. Amy is literally left holding the baby tonight, so Matt's brought Maggie, his mummy, along for support. Right, serious business then. Twelve questions, three brand-new lifelines. Don't let's affront. One million pounds. Matt, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Thank you.
Question number one for £500. Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister through the whole of which decade? 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, 1990s. 1980s, Chris. It's the right answer. You have £500. <laughs> Actually, 1979 to 1990. Question number two would guarantee £1,000. It is the last point you could go home with nothing. Uh, you have all three lifelines. Have a look. Question number two should guarantee £1,000. It's this. In which pantomime does the character Wishy Washy appear? Puss in Boots, Aladdin, Babes in the Wood, Dick Whittington. It's all of them, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really very sure, so I think I lost the audience, please. OK, right, audience, your chance to shine again tonight. Um, this is the question. It's worth a guaranteed £1,000. In which pantomime does the character Wishy Washy appear? Now, A is Puss in Boots, B is Aladdin, C is Babes in the Wood, D is Dick Whittington. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Eighty percent say Aladdin, uh, five percent Pussy Boots, three percent Babes in the Wood, twelve percent Dick Whittington. I think eighty percent is okay, so I'll, I'll take the audience's advice and go for Aladdin, please, Chris. Final answer? Yes, please. So right answer, you have one thousand pounds. How are you feeling, sir? Really nervous and tired, actually. <laughs> it's been a long wait. Well, I thought I'd missed my chance. Well, no, you got in right at the end. You're, um, what are you, 32? Yep. You must be one of the youngest headmasters in the country, aren't you? I don't know. There's a few, I think, my age. There's a lot of responsibility for... Um... Yeah, yes, it is. It's quite fun, though. It's good to work with children. OK. Listen, you have £1,000, that's guaranteed. Question number three is for £2,000. The Mendip Hills are in which area of England? Northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest for two thousand pounds. Geography is normally okay for me, but I, I don't know where the Mendip Hills are. There's no point doing fifty-fifty because it wouldn't help me because I've not heard of them. So I think I'll phone a friend, please, Chris. Uh, okay, who are you going to phone? Um, my stepdad, Phil. Phil, your stepdad. Uh, he'll know this, you think? Yeah, I think so. He's got pretty good knowledge, I think. OK, we'll phone Phil. Fingers crossed. Yeah, cross <laughs> everything. Hello? Phil? Hello? Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here. Oh, hello. Hello! hello. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> well, it's that phone a friend thing you promised you'd do. Oh, for Matt. I just had to sit down. <laughs> yeah, pull yourself a brandy. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to, yeah. OK, right. So, serious business. I've got Matt here. OK. He's doing OK, he's stuck on a particular question. Right, -o. Uh It's worth a couple of thousand pounds to him, Phil. OK. So, uh, next voice should be Matt. You tell her the question. There are four possible answers. All right, matey. Right, OK, thanks. OK, right. 30 seconds, Matt. Your time starts now. Phil. Hello. The Mendip Hills are in which area of England? Is it northeast, northwest, southeast, or southwest? Um, I would. I'm pretty sure it would be the southwest. <laughs> okay. I, I think it's Somerset area. Okay. Thank you. How Got sure? It? How sure? How sure? 100 percent. Uh, seventy percent, I would say. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I'm going then. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. 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 <laughs> 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 I'm going now, <laughs> maybe sometime. <laughs> OK, right, well, he sounded very confident, but it's up to you. Embarrassing, southwest and you're already... But yeah, you've got 1,000 guaranteed, it's for 2,000. Yeah, I, I can't lose, can I? I can't go home with any less, so nope. I'll, I'll go with the southwest. Final answer. Yes, please. It's the right answer, you've got 2,000 pounds.
Gordon's quite right. The men dips are mainly across Somerset. I'm afraid you heard that noise. That's all we've got time for. It's been a very complicated night. It's been a manic kind of night. Starting with Nicole Adams. Uh, she came back from last week with £10,000. She then somewhat hysterically turned it into a cheque for £75 grand tonight. Mike Rangecroft rather crashed and burned but still took home £1,000. Peter Elson managed £5,000. Matt Barnes here ends the show on £2,000. The good thing is he still has one lifeline remaining. He's back next time. Lines are just closed on our viewers' game, so don't call now, please, because you will not be included in the competition. I can now tell you the answer to the musical based on the songs of Queen is We Will Rock You. So if you did say A, you just might have won a grand in your hand. So from Matt and me and everybody here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, good night. Bruce Willis is back for another dose of Die Hardness next over on ITV2 and there's shock and sadness in clocking off on ITV3. So yes, we've got to the end and yes, one of those ladettes have apparently done enough to become a true lady. But which one? We'll find out in the final.